All right, greetings everybody. Welcome to Ubuntu Linux uh, desktop tour. Uh, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going I'm to go over just some of the basic things in Linux and uh, the reason why I, I'm kind of like sticking with Linux, not to just Windows or Bash Windows, but uh, you know I've been a Linux an Ubuntu user for a little over three years, and I've been using Linux for like a little over seven years. But uh, let me get into one of the, you know some of the reasons why that I'm sticking with Linux and why I like it and why you may want to try to use this operating system. Um, this is a Linux desktop. This is my desktop of course after I got it customized and got it tweaked the way I want it to look but this is not how it looks out of the box. Um, so you have to do some customization on it. Um, one of the reasons why I'm using Linux is because this right here. The price for Windows you know 119, 120, 199, 219. Um, you know, most of the time if you go to a PC store, this is already going to be installed on the PC. So this is already added into the charge of what you're going to pay for the whole computer, be it a laptop or a desktop. They adding the price in of this operating system into your total cost of your computer. But if you're building your machine from scratch, you gotta you you gotta pay for one of these operating systems. You know, you gotta get one of these. You gotta get it registered. And it's just a whole bunch. You got to go through a whole bunch of stuff just to have this computer like registered. And you got to get license agreements if you get more than one machine. Well, with Ubuntu, well, Linux is free. It's free. You know, you don't have to go through all that paying for it and then getting license agreements and all that. You, it's all free. So uh, that's one good thing. That's one plus that I like about Linux is that it's it's, it's free. Uh, another thing is. Uh, um, Linux comes with Firefox. Now, this is not forced on you. You can use Chrome, like I'm using Chromium. This is another version. This is the Chrome version, for, but it's for Linux. But you can use Firefox. Like you see up here, I got Firefox um, browser. You can use that. Internet Explorer is forced. It's forced on people. You know, if you know what that is, that's what this is, right? That's the E. Like this E right here. They forces on you, and this this is a real unstable browser. If you don't realize that this this browser is, is all a lot of the codes and malicious hacks are written for to attack this type of browser. You know, so they have came a long way to try to make things a little better with this browser, but it's forced on you, and people don't know, people don't know that they have options out there. You don't have to use Internet Explorer. You can use Firefox, or Chrome, or Opera. You know, or Safari if you're a Mac user. But you know, people don't know that they have choices out there. They can use other operating systems other than Windows. And uh, but there's there's Mac people who know about Mac. But um, this is um, another another way to go if you want to. Another reason why I'm on Linux is because this right here, the antivirus. Like we don't get viruses on much. It's very rare you get you get a virus using a Linux machine. Like I said, most of the viruses are written for Windows, and if you're a Mac user, you feel me on this. You know that Mac people, Mac users don't get viruses either. They don't really get viruses on their machine and malware and trojans and spyware. So this is another cost that you have to uh, eat by being a uh, Windows user. And this usually comes installed on your machine if you buy a machine from the store. It's already installed. But the thing about this is you gotta um, renew the license like every year or for two years or whatever how long it is. But it's, it's funny because I know people who still have these viruses running and they still end up getting uh, stuff. They end up getting viruses and malware and spyware with the stuff already on there. Like these programs are so smart. They're, they're, <laughs> those viruses will get on your machine and shut this stuff off. <laughs> and you be don't, you be don't pay all this money and you got some viruses that just shut all this stuff down. You know, but look at this. There's another one. It's called Norton. Just two years, 154. Um, one year is seventy nine dollars, and it's like, you no. Know, if you don't, if you build your machine from scratch, you gotta um like for me, I build mine from scratch, so I had to have I had to have our uh, antivirus machine on on my machine. Um, I still do use Windows, so let's let's not get that twisted. I do use Windows still, but it's only for certain operations for for certain programs. But when I do use Windows, I use this right here, this antivirus. It's called AVG. ABG and it's free. I don't have to pay anything for it. I've been using this for a while and I haven't got any spyware, malware, or trojans, any of that stuff on my Windows machines. And I'm using using a free version. 
so uh you know you can check it out if you want to but uh you know just people should have options they should be given options so uh, let me go to this right here to the Ubuntu. this is the Ubuntu home page and of course you can download Ubuntu right now because like I said it's free and uh the reason why I like Ubuntu out of all Linux distros is because you got so many flavors of Linux and Ubuntu is just one I, I like Ubuntu because they got uh, the, the community support like the community is global and people around the world are there to like help you if you want to learn this or with just making it better it's people who contribute this to this code it's called it's called open source and there's people who are around the world who contribute to making this a, just a good piece of software without a charge so it's open source and it's, it's free for people to use you know people in Africa and, 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 and Asia and uh, South America like people who may not have access to um, people who are who want to get involved in this digital divide but can't afford it they're using stuff like this you know and it's perfect for that you know like who like come on a village in Africa somewhere they're gonna pay this right here to get like for like 15 20 computers they're gonna pay a license agreement they have to keep paying it they may can they may can pay it but they you know most time they they want to just go the, the cheapest route you know I don't blame them so um, what was I? Yeah. So yeah, the community's there, and then that this is like I said, this is only one version of Linux. This this is the one I first started out with. It's called OpenSUSE. It's at twelve dot one now. I started when it was like seven dot oh, and this is another good uh, Linux distro because it's free and uh, you can download it like right to your disk. You can download it and start playing with it. You know, it's it's nice and clean. But you know it has a community backing it too. But there's various different uh, Linux operating systems. I mean, you have Linux operations out there that you can use. All right. So one of the biggest I was when I got when I started using uh, Ubuntu. I want I, what I do is I design web pages and I needed to find a way that I can design my web pages without having to reboot inside my Windows machine to use this program right here called. Um, Dreamweaver. Where is it? Adobe Dreamweaver. Now, Dreamweaver is a bad program that you can use to design websites and stuff with. And uh, I, I love it. You know, it's, it does what it do. But look at the price tag. It's three ninety nine. You know, which is not bad. But look, this whole Creative Suite is like this stuff is expensive. It's like twelve hundred dollars, eighteen hundred dollars. So mostly, all I use really is Dreamweaver, Fireworks, and maybe Adobe Illustrator. You know. Um, I have this, but I'm not gonna. Um, if I'm gonna buy a machine and install Windows, I'm not gonna pay for this. Pay the to, to get a license to put some on a, on a different machine. So I wanted to get a program that I can use to design my websites with, and I wanted it to be Linux inside of Linux. I don't want to keep rebooting inside and going to my uh, Windows machine. So in my next video, I'm gonna go over some of those programs that I use to design websites with, and that you may can use, and uh, to start designing websites if you desire to do that. But you know, uh, in my next video, I'll go over some of those uh, things that I use.